Hey, Super fans, I'm Thomas Bond. Welcome to our Pittsburgh Steelers news and rumor video here on what is cut day. I mean, today's the day where the Steelers, just a couple of minutes ago, went from 80 all the way down to 53 men on the roster. We have the full list of cuts, a breakdown of it, and of course, look at the depth chart as it currently stands today. Remember, they can re-sign practice squad people, expect 15, 16, whatever the number is, to come back to Pittsburgh. So a lot of these guys are going to come back in some form. But right now, here are the guys who are going ahead and being cut today or were cut just a couple of hours ago. We'll jump into uh, our first list here, Trey Edmonds, running back, Jalen Samuels, and Tony Brooks-James. He was the one running back I thought had a chance to go ahead and make the final roster here. Obviously, not a great training camp, and not really good in the preseason as well. They're very high on Najee Harris, and we'll talk about that when we get to, to the depth chart. If they weren't as high on Najee Harris or hadn't drafted Najee Harris, I think Brooks-James probably makes the roster. It's obviously a roster spot, but right now, it's not a surprise. I think they bring Brooks-James back from a uh, or on a practice squad perspective, but he is let go along with the other two running backs in Edmonds and Tony, uh, sorry, Jalen Samuels. Um, Rico Bussey was let go, Anthony Johnson was let go, and Matthew Sexton was let go as well. No surprise there. A couple of those guys will come back to the practice squad, but the, you know, the, the, listen, the Steelers are loaded at wide receiver, and so the odds of making it from an undrafted free agent perspective are pretty darn thin. Um, Marcus Ball, Kevin, R Kevin Radar, who I thought had a chance to go ahead and go there. I mean, I thought that he was, you know... It wasn't not like he had a great training camp, but I think it was between him uh, and the other tight end on this depth chart who was really battling for it in Zach Gentry. I think Radar is the one uh, who was going to make the roster. I think this is my prediction of the video yesterday. I can't remember who I had in there, but I thought Radar was going to have a real chance, and he obviously is not going to make the roster as they're very excited with their rookie, Pat Fryermuth, uh, and Gentry is going to go ahead and be the third tight end on this roster. Rashad Coward was let go as well, along with B.J. Finney and Chaz Green to round out a couple more of the offensive linemen. We'll keep going here on the list. John Leg uh, Leglu, I think is how you say his last name, was let go. And Malcolm Pridgeton was let go as well. The final two offensive linemen here on the cut list. Uh, the only one defensive tackle who was let go was TJ Carter. They let go a lot of linebackers. They feel good, obviously, about the linebackers they have right now in Cassius Marsh. Uh, Quincy Roche was left as well. He was a guy who was picked up as an under free agent. I thought Roche is a good player. He's probably going to come back as a practice squad guy, although and I'm surprised the team picks him up off the waiver wire. Somebody who uh, out of Texas is a pretty darn good linebacker, and I think with a little bit of uh, a little bit of work from a practice squad perspective, could eventually play in this league as a uh, a backup depth special teamer. But you know the Steelers are too too stacked at linebacker. Um, Jamar Watson was let go. The other linebacker, Mark Gilbert, Arthur Millette, Donovan Stinner, uh, and Shakur Brown are the four cornerbacks. There's one more in there, which we'll see in just one second. I think it's Lafayette Pitts is the other cornerback who was let go as well. But they feel confident about the cornerback group that they have. And we'll obviously show you guys that coming up when we look at the depth chart. Uh, final guys here, Lamont Wade, the safety, Jordan Berry, the punter, uh, and Cameron Canada, the long snapper, were all cut as well. So obviously the Pittsburgh Steelers, they will re-sign some of these players on the practice squad, but that is your full list right there uh, of all the players who were cut, almost 27 in total uh, today, and a little couple were uh, cut late last night as well. Okay, if we're going to keep going here, name a player the Steelers should have kept. Is there a player on this list? I mean, honestly, listen, uh, in the National Football League, normally there's a player on the list that you go, oh, you definitely should have kept them. I can't find somebody. I think the Steelers had a very simple job. I mean, we kind of knew who was going to make the roster. The roster already has a lot of starters and a lot of stacked backup players as well. Was there a player that you think the Steelers should have kept? Let me know who that is down below right now in the comments section. Now, before we're going to keep going here, be sure you guys are subscribed to our Steelers Talk YouTube channels. We're trying to become your one-stop shop for everything regarding your Pittsburgh Steelers. Like, here's the deal. The cuts came out less than 30 minutes ago. We got it all typed up, the rundown sent, and we are filming this as quickly as possible. That way, you guys uh, can be one of the first to see, with a full breakdown, exactly what Pittsburgh did at the cut uh, deadline today. We don't just do stuff like this. We do news. We do rumors. We do when trades happen. I mean, everything regarding your Steelers, our goal is to be your one-stop shop, your one place that you go. Less than 10 minutes, right? About a 10-minute video, you come in and see everything that's happened with the year. Pittsburgh Steelers. So help us out by growing the channel and hitting the red subscribe button. It costs you nothing and it gives you guys all the great content that we do here on the channel. Okay, let's jump into the official 53-man roster. We'll start with quarterback here. And yes, we saw earlier in the day the report that Dwayne Haskins was going to go ahead and make the roster. And you know what? Good for Dwayne Haskins. I feel good for him. You know, I, I mean, it just, it, I thought he was going to beat out Mason Rudolph in the battle here. He clearly did not, based on the fact that Mason Rudolph did not play in the fourth preseason game. But still, Haskins makes the roster. I think it's right. I mean, listen, if you were to cut him, someone's going to re-sign him. There's no chance to bring him back to the practice squad. And so you got to keep him on the active roster. Dobbs will go on IR, and I assume they'll sign him back to the practice squad whenever he comes off of the injured reserve. Here are your running backs. They had plenty to keep. Najee Harris, Benny Snell, Anthony McFarland, and Kalen Balaj. Balaj's training camp fell off a little bit towards the latter half of of camp. That's why he's a little bit further down on the depth chart. As we said earlier, no room for Tony Brooks-James. And then, you know, when you're throwing Derek Watt there, who's a fullback, but he's part of the running back group or the running back committee that the Steelers have um, right now. Ask you guys this. How many wins do you have for the Steelers this year? 
Like, now that you see the official roster, the official roster, like I said, officially here. We're going to wide receivers next. How many wins? I think right now in Vegas, I mean, right now, the Steelers are the third best team, according to Vegas, in the uh, total odds to win the division behind Baltimore, who suffered the J.K. Dobbins injury. And, of course, you know, rightfully so, probably the Browns, because the Browns are probably good this year, but, you know, whatever. Either way, how many wins do you have with the Steelers? Is it 9? Is it 12? Is it Four? Like, are you feeling really bad about the Steelers? Give me your thoughts on how many wins for the Steelers down below right now in the comments section. Okay, wide receivers, no shock here. Smith, Schuster, Claypool, Deontay Johnson are your three starters. James Washington stays there for now because they haven't traded him, but how long will he be on the active roster? That is a good question. I think he's going to be there on the season starts, though. Uh, Ray Ray McLeod for your kick returning, uh, and Cody White makes it as well. Congrats to Cody White for making uh, the 53-man roster. Their one surprise I said earlier was the tight end and Zach Gentry. Um, again, not that big of a surprise. Some guys had him in there. Some guys had the other the tight end who was cut a little bit earlier, but of course, Ebron and Fryermuth are your for one and two there, as Ebron is the veteran and Fryermuth is the rookie tight end who had a good training camp, even though he still struggles in blocking, which Mike Tomlin reminds him of on a daily basis uh, uh, up there at Steelers camp. On this line, depth chart, your starters, I mean, no real surprise here. The focus, of course, is Kevin Dotson and Trey Turner. Those are the two guys on the offensive line that I am looking at the most because, of course, Dotson is young and he's going to be filling in. And Trey Turner is a veteran, but got, you know, worked a little bit in training camp. But a couple post preseason games at right tackle is like, uh, you know. Are you sure you're still good, Trey Turner? Uh, they gave enough money, though, so hopefully. Banner Moore and Kendra Green make it as well. And so this offensive line group as a whole has been underneath the microscope the entire training camp. They let go of a bunch of guys uh, uh, during the cuts. I think they're going to re-sign a lot of the guys I said earlier, like a, uh, a Malcolm Pridgedin or possibly a Chaz Green are going to be re-signed to the practice squad. But that is your official offensive line depth chart as they go ahead and keep, you know, the pretty average eight or nine amount, however many that is. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So and keep eight offensive linemen, which, again, not a big surprise there but it's a number that a lot of NFL teams have been doing over the past couple of years. Okay, before we go ahead and move over to defense, quick shout-out to our friends at BetUS and the crazy deposit bonus that is happening right now when you go to chatsports.com forward slash bet and use our promo code Steelers125, you get a 125% deposit bonus whenever you first sign up. And as we mentioned... Not only can you bet on the Steelers to win the division, how about the first game? Right now, the Bills are six-and-a-half-point favorites in the Week 1 matchup. Just a couple of days, I mean, like two weeks, less than two weeks, uh, for the Steelers in their Week 1 opener. Over-unders at 49. You can bet on the Steelers if they even get close in this game. You minus six-and-a-half for Buffalo. You win a lot of money here. Do it with our friends at BetUS. Chatsports.com forward slash bet. And use that promo code Steelers125 to get the deposit bonus. That's what you want. Turns your $100 deposit into 225 bucks with that 125% deposit bonus. Defense. Um, is there any surprise here? No. In terms of defense, Hayward, to it will be your two starters um, when they move around on the inside. They keep Isaiah Bugs, Chris Wormley. Uh, Loudermilk makes the roster along with Carlos Davis. We we're wondering if Isaiah Loudermilk was going to make the roster. He was a little bit close in the bubble there, but he, in fact, does on from a defensive perspective. Your linebackers from an outside linebacker pass rusher perspective are Watt, Highsmith, and Melvin Ingram. And then you go over to your inside linebackers, which they've kept a lot of them. Bush, Schobert, Spillane, Johnsons, Gilbert, and Marcus Allen are going to go ahead and make out the, um, excuse me, the list of inside linebackers uh, on there. This is one of the best linebacking cores in the National Football League from a 3-4 perspective, outside and inside. They're just, wow, they're, they're absolutely incredible. And it was going to be tough for any linebacker undrafted to make this roster based on the guys who are currently uh, on the depth chart. Okay, before we get into cornerbacks, which unit are you most excited to see of your Pittsburgh Steelers? Is it offense or defense this year? I'm leaning towards offense. I was defense last year because defense, you know, we knew was going to be good, and they were top three in the National Football League. But the offense is going to be what wins them football games, or at least wins them games late on in the season. The defense is obviously important, but I'm going to focus on uh, the offense. Type O down below for offense and D down below for defense. Which one are you more excited to see? Okay, corners, they keep four, Hayden, Sutton, Pierre, and Lane. No real surprise there. We talked about Cameron Sutton yesterday in my prediction video. He's going to have a big year at the number two cornerback spot. From a DB perspective, safeties included. Fitzpatrick and Norwood will be your two free safeties. Edmonds and Killebrew are going to go ahead and be your two strong safeties. Um, depth chart from the kicking standpoint, Chris Boswell. It was a little battle there early on, a kicker, but he was going to win it the entire time. Not a surprise there. Presley Harvin the third is going to be the punter, and Kristen Kuntz is going to go ahead uh, and be the long snapper for your Pittsburgh Steelers. There you go. Like I said, under 10 minutes. We break down the entire list of cuts. All 27 of them, whatever the number is, 25, 27, can't do math in my head that quickly. Either way, there they all are. We'll go to start the video, and then, of course, broke down the official depth chart and how it currently stands for your Pittsburgh Steelers. Make sure you guys are subscribed, because, obviously, if they re-sign people, practice squad picks, if they want to go out and get somebody uh, off the free agent market right now, we'll cover it. If they do, give this video a thumbs up, and go down below and subscribe to stay up to date on the latest Pittsburgh Steelers news and rumors. Ultimate for today here on our Pittsburgh Steelers Talk video, breaking down all the cuts in the new roster. It's official. We are so close. 
close to week one. Stay tuned for all the great latest and greatest coverage. I'm Thomas Mott. We sign off for the rest of your day.